Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Firewatch. We are finally here at the gate. There's a lock. We have a fire axe. We know what we're doing. We're going to break this bitch down, figure out what's happening with this whole mystery. I still remain adamant about the fact that Zelda Lila's mastermind. She's a criminal genius, and I'm not Batman, unfortunately. Let's find out what's happening with this gate. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Now, if they have guns, we're kind of fucked here, but... I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Well, <laughs> you heard it. She's the boss, apparently. More than one way. Oh! Ow! Well, it was... <laughs> was that good? I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? <laughs> yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, you don't know. Maybe I'm deadly allergic to them. Maybe I'm gonna fucking fall down, have a seizure, and die. Get get your ass out of that watchtower and save me, lady. All right, clipboard. Let's pick this up here. I'm gonna read it before. Oh, we can't even call it in. Alrighty, with PD Station personnel, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15 to October 15. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Josan. Uh, Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Okay, that's it. Well, I will hold on to that. And let's continue on our little task here. Jump around. Really anxious to find out what the hell is going on. Nothing around here. Okay. I do see this here. Oh, it's just a tree. Can't go through there. Look at my map here momentarily. It's a relatively big area we haven't really checked out before. But there's only really one path to take. Turn on the old flashlight. Yeah, buddy. All right. The flashlight. You know, we haven't really used this flashlight too often in this game. You know what I also realized I haven't used whatsoever? And I'm pretty sure I read somewhere. I'm not sure if it was in the press build or if it was just a developer email. That mentioned the camera being really important. And I just realized I haven't really used it one- I mean, I used it one time they gave it to me and I took a pictures of the campsite that was thrashed, but I haven't used it since then. Huh. Okay, you know what? Maybe it might be too late, but just in case. Just in case. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Might be too late, but I could have sworn I remember reading that, you know, the, the camera was more important than you really thought it was. Uh, flashlight off. Generator. Monitoring tower. Okay. The site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Mm -hmm. Right about that. There. And... I guess... Oh, we can't go... Oh, come on! They look accessible, though! I mean, I saw the obvious one over here, but I wanted to take a little bit of a look around. Alright, what the hell is happening? Ah! Yo. Yo. Oh, it's just a... It's a butterfly. I'm sorry, I was already stung one. I'm actually a really big... I'm, I'm really scared of bugs, like... Doesn't matter what bugs. The only bugs I'm scared of are ladybugs and regular ants. Fire ants scare the hell out of me. I had a terrible, you know, encounter with those when I was a kid. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, you know what? Crickets. I don't mind crickets, too. They, I like how they jump. I normally avoid them, but I don't mind them too much. And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. 
Are they doing something with the soil out here too? It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? Aliens, man, I told you. Mulder, X-Files, the truth's out there. I mean, how the hell did they get all this stuff out here? The Army Corps of Engineers put our towers out here, so... You think it was the government? I have no idea. I, I just mean it's possible. I mean, every once in a while I'll need a lookout who's deep into that, like, black helicopter conspiracy shit. Maybe they actually flew it out here in one of those. Maybe you're right. It's always the government. Have you? And they pop you open? No popping you open. Alright. Pop you open. No popping you open. There's a ladder, though. Because if we need to climb, you have a ladder. Is that, um... Is that our tower or is that Delilah's? That would be what? Uh, northeast, right? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm still not coming out Delilah from this, mind you. Ringleader. I'm telling you right now. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. This is red light coming from. You're inside. Huh. Wave receiver. That's comforting to hear. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry? Yeah, holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Follow the beeping device. I like how easy that was to set up, too. You know, just really crazy high-tech government equipment. Oh, uh, don't worry. So let me just hit a few buttons here, and it's up and running again. I wanted to read this here really quick. Joe dog, I'm... Tr hey, hold up. Locates any strong signal. Green light, target straight ahead. Oh, okay. Green light, target straight ahead. Distance light, strength of signal. Distance is up here. Okay. And then the green light... Target is straight ahead. And what's the fourth one here? Tone source of signal discovered. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. And whatever it is, it's like nearby. <sighs> I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does, and then get the hell out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Okay. Shit. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? Uh, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. I wanted to see this more closely. 4022. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. 914. Avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data. Hmm. Okay, well, we gotta hold on to this. They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Black box? Up. Oh. 
Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. It says things about my life. S stuff you don't know. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! It's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Okay. So I was reading this while they were over here chit-chatting away. This is really super... She's 43. Alleged. Uh... She's reliable considering alcoholism. Obviously. A little bit of misspelling there as well. Uh, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history. So she's very liable to lie about her own nonsense here. Never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings. Multiple lovers despite long-term partner in Javier. Allegedly still together. She is not easily manipulated. Hence the three over here. Supervisor sign off EG. Us, on the other hand, we gotta take this. On the other hand, we are quite easily manipulated, apparently. Week 10. Oh, well, we might as well do it this way here. 39. Uh, comprehensive explorer keeps to the pad. I normally do that. Prone to anger and passive. Guilty, that's true. Fortright and guarded, yeah. Subject overview subject is fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Subject may be aware of tests, suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Which we have. And yeah, we're nine in manipulation. I mean, we've been following everything down to a T so far. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's Delilah. She's part of it too. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to make. Earthquake monitor. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Huh. Okay. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Yeah, I don't buy that. I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. Leave it behind. Yeah, I know, but it's just, you should see it. Oh. Oh, you know what? See it. Perfect Town actually takes pictures of this shit, too. Nice. So we got all this equipment here on camera. Let me look at this board as well. Okay. That's good for now. I'm going to say, what is that? Fill generator Wednesday and Sunday. Check out the telephone lines over here, too. All right. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. All right. And, I mean, we already got a picture of their living quarters here, right? So I think we should be fine. Stove. Saw some food here. Peanut butter. Ah, can't take the old PB? Oh, it's Biff. It's not Jif, it's Biff. Jam pasta sauce. All righty. Well, did we take a picture of this over here? I don't think we did. So just in case, snap this and let's check out this grid here. That's good. Alrighty. So, is we going back home? Is that what she told us? Head back to the yeah, lookout. Alright, see, so back to the bridge over here. Jump in. Oh. Whoa! Oh. 
Oh, no is shit. Bueno. Oh, hey. How about that? Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? I really don't know at do this point. Do we just point. treat it like a normal fire? I guess. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I feel like we're going insane at this point. Are these all of the notes we've collected? No, these are... These are the majority of the notes we've collected so far. I have no idea what's happening now. <laughs> this receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You've got to find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! That's probably not the best idea right now. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Okay, well, I guess I'll put my wedding ring on. Not sure why it's on. Outside it is. Take the bag. Good. Flapjack fire. Let's bring this out. And to lower. Oh, to bring this out of the way. We don't want that. So let's try to find out where this beeping is coming from here. It's just kind of creepy at this point. Like, normally, like, I think I could try to figure out what's gonna happen, but with this game, I really have no idea. Like, what to make of anything. This is so good, yeah. Oh, that's pleasant. Strange backpack. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that I'm here. Oh, dude, that's the key to the cave. Shit! Ooh. What? Ah! Stop! <coughs> Was that good? Was that a bad idea? I don't even know. Huh. I don't even know. I mean, examine a strange bag. Oh, okay, right there. Yeah, I see the cave. Man, do I even report this to? I don't. I don't even know about who I could trust here. D, I I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay. It's not a trap or anything. Yeah, I'm fine. There's, there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. 
Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Why, why, why do I want to go back? No, that's a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. Why do I take it that my tracking device is going to be missing and quite possibly all of my notes? It's just a hunch. Just a hunch. No, my notes are still there. Oh, that's... 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 something. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Huh. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. Well, let's see what's on it. I never said that. Hey, yo, yo, I never said that. What is it? What's on it, Henry? It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! <laughs> yes! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Wouldn't even know where to start. wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. I agree. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Yeah, I'm sure honesty and consistency is going to be something that people believe. Like, if somebody told you this entire story they've gone through, would you actually believe it? You probably think they're completely off the rocker. All that's said and done, though, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Next episode, we find out what's in the cave. Are the answers really in the cave? Are they not? Not really sure, but we'll find out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. Stick around for next episode. I will catch you next time.